All right, we are recording. Good morning, Team Inspired. Happy New Year. It's officially our first call of the year, and I'm so excited to get started. I love the new year. The new year last year is what changed the entire year for me because I had a total mindset change, um, and it resulted in action change, and it really did carry on the entire year. So there's nothing that you have to, you don't need to feel like if you make a change in January, it can't last. That's completely false. Um, if you do whatever it is you want to do enough times and you create a habit, it absolutely can carry into the whole year. And it did that for me last year. And the cool thing, you guys, is that we are starting this year so much stronger as a team than last year. Last year, I felt like I kind of had this mindset change on my own. Um, and then we started to build, build, build as a team. But this year, I can feel us starting as a team with this crazy mindset change. So I can only imagine and dream where we're going to be this time next year. All right. So before we start, I know you guys saw my post, but I want to officially, um, do you guys have an energize or coffee or anything for a quick little toast? Tea. To Team Inspired, every single one of you that's on this call, that's on the team, that might not be on the call, um, even a discount coach that's never worked the business, participated and contributed. We are officially a 2018 Elite Team. Woo! <laughs> Congrats, you guys. This, if you, if you don't know exactly how Elite works, I can't do it alone. And I can't do it just with five diamonds. There are coaches that have five diamonds and they are not elite coaches. So it takes a lot more than that. It takes points from so many categories. Every single discount coach that was active, every single success club point that was sold by anybody on the team, all of that goes into points. So you really cannot pull something like elite off if your team isn't strong. So every single one of you guys should be so proud when you share this and you're talking to other people that you are part of an elite team. So congratulations, you guys. Is Jen on the call? I wanted her to talk about um, Super Saturday, but I don't think she is. So we'll probably, and then Natasha, you're going today to Super Saturday, right? How many of you guys know what Super Saturday is? Yeah? So Super Saturday is an event that happens four times a year, every quarter, and there's different events all around the country and coaches from different teams come together. You can invite customers, you can invite your mom and dad, your family, anybody you want to attend with you. And it's where they talk about what's happening in the beach body world that's coming up. I know that they talked about the, the bars that we're getting. I haven't heard anything else, but I know that maybe Natasha, you can share on team inspired what you find out today. Um, so all the new stuff that's going to be rolled out. Okay. Me, gonna talk about at, at super Saturday, they usually have some guest speaker. Um, sometimes it's Melanie Mitro. Sometimes it's a, an elite coach. Sometimes it's a, a trainer like Autumn. I mean, it really depends on which one you're going to, but there's almost always something within your city or a couple mi couple um, hours away. And at the end, you all do a workout together. So it's a great opportunity to plug into the Beachbody world outside our team, guys. Because sometimes we get stuck in our little bubble and there's a huge group of people out there that you can learn a lot from. So um, I posted Saturday here. Uh, the next one is in April and I'm gonna be coming out to the Bay Area to do it there with you guys. So hopefully whoever lives out there, I think San Jose usually has one but we'll see. But find a super Saturday that's close to you and start going. Take your friends with you. I will tell you guys with super Saturday, the chances that you bring someone that's not a coach and then them signing up as a coach at super Saturday is very likely it. I mean, I think Natasha started working the business because of a super Saturday, right? Yeah. Well, like, I'd already started. No, you're right. I did. I think it like lit your fire. <laughs> Yeah. I was, remember when you, I mean, you might've already been a coach. I don't remember. Or you might've like, yeah, yeah, a little like, you're right. I, it like kind of just lit her fire. It, it definitely opened my eyes. Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, it just, so if you can, I, I almost always will post the location link. We don't know the locations yet for the next one. Um, and Natasha's going to talk a little bit more next week about actually, why don't you just go live on team inspired to, after you're done today or tomorrow? And maybe even if you can go live during the event today, if there's anything that feels right, you could share on our page. I'll be on the. You'll be what? I'll be on the front row. I'll be on the front row. 
Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. Go live for us. <laughs> who's, the, who's your guest speaker? Autumn. Talk. She's, she's speaking and she's working. We're working out with her. Oh, that's so, okay. Definitely go live on our team page. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys will get to see, um, and really sometimes it's a, it's someone you don't even know, but you could learn so much. Like it might not be an autumn, um, but it's a coach that is, well, there's coaches that are hidden coaches, right? Like we, they're not the coach in the spotlight. Yeah. Ashley Molstead, who's number two right now, actually mm -hmm. spoke at the last one that I went to, which is probably another reason it like lit a fire under me because her whole story is amazing. And just to watch her on Instagram, even in this transition that she's in right now, going from, you know, like single to married yeah. to mom, it's, and still like crush November to remember. <laughs> yeah, I know she like gave birth and crushed it. Oh my God. Yeah, no excuses, right, guys? None. Yeah, seriously. Um, so I'm I, everyone pop into Team Inspired when you see Natasha go live and definitely check that out. So the topic for today was how to take massive action in 2018. How many of you guys want massive action? When you look back at this year and you're like, massive things happened. How many of you want that? Every mm -hmm. single one of you, I would assume, right? Mm -hmm. Here's how massive action works, you guys. You have to take very small action repeatedly and consistently. I wish I could tell you there was one massive thing you had to do, right? Like if someone told me I'm gonna hit all my financial goals, all my rank goals, and all I had to do was go run a marathon, guys, I would sign up for that marathon. I'll I'm not a runner, but I would run 26 miles to get it all done in one day. I would, because that sounds fabulous. A lot of pain in a short amount of time, right? Why not? Sign me up. It does not work like that. Just like if you run a marathon this year and you don't take care of your nutrition and you don't do any other exercise, you're not going to have the body you want. Same thing with your business. So if you decide you're going to have the best power hour ever or the best four hours in your business today or tomorrow or next week because you're fired up and you do not take small action repeatedly, consistently, every single day, you will not wake up this time next year and see that your business moved at all. If anything, it probably moved backwards. Now, for me, that's what 2016 felt like. It was like, la di da nothing happened. Nothing happened in 2016 for me. I met great people, and actually, most of you guys probably joined 2016, but no massive action happened. And that's why 2017 really got me fired up, okay? To do that, it takes a lot of small action. Now, the small action is not fun. And I'll tell you guys today, even waking up, realizing that, yes, I, if you look at the rankings, I'm labeled a five-star elite coach. My daily action has not changed at all. And if I try to change it, or I think it changes, I am not going to wake up elite next year. I'm probably gonna wake up a one small diamond. That's the truth. So the things I do daily today, invite. I can't stop inviting because this team is not going to stay where it's at. It's either going to go backwards or forwards. So I got to still do the invites. If you're not doing the invites, nothing is going to change for you. I still have to be proof the products work. I can't all of a sudden think I can skip my Shakeology. I can skip my workouts. I can't do that. I have to be proof the products work. And that means through everything that life hits me with, right? Last year, it hit me with multiple miscarriages. It hit Todd with a car accident. It hit people on this team. I know, I know so many of you guys that had injuries, right? You still have to be proof the products work. You do what you can though, but you cannot quit on yourself or your business will quit too. Personal development, right? That cannot stop. It can't, oh, I'm a, I'm a great leader now. I hit elite. I can take out my personal development. I probably need to get even more so now, right? Because our team is growing and that's when you really start to get challenged as a leader. Okay, so if you're taking these small actions every day, the personal development is such a huge part of that. And then the, the fourth vital behavior, the recognition, right? None of that can stop. It, you've got to start as a coach doing these things and you have to keep doing these things, that small action. And the best part is, is Beachbody tells us what small action to take every single day. They say, these are the small actions you take every day. That's what our business activ activity tracker is for so that you can wake up at the end of the year and see massive action has happened in your business. 
Okay, so I want to talk about my goal for the team, and I'm going to ask you guys what your individual goals are. Okay, but my goal for the team, I want us to be an elite team again. I want us to be a 10-star diamond elite team, and that's, I will tell you guys, do you know how many times I changed that from 7 to 8 to 10? I kept retyping it. I was like, 7-star, 8-star, but last year this time, guys, I was a diamond coach. I was not even a 1-star. I was not even a 1-star coach, and so if I could do 5 last year, why can't I do it again? but it makes me want to throw up putting that number down. Like I had to change it three times and then I finally was like, stop, stop it. I have to write it down because it's in the back of my head, guys. Like it's creeping in there. 15 wasn't, like it's not even creeping in there, but 10 was, it kept like in the back of my mind. It's like 10, 10, 10, and I'm trying to ignore it. How many of you guys are ignoring a goal? Because it scares the crap out of you. Yeah, but it's in there, like it's in your head. It's going, but what if I could? What if I could? How awesome would it be? But I can't. Oh my God, that's so, such a crazy goal. I can't do it. That's the goal I want you guys to write down. Because I did that last year. I did that last year. I heard about a coach that was going for elite. I didn't even know what this stuff was. Like I was in my, I was barely in my second year. I haven't even hit my third year yet. And I heard about elite. Actually, I'll tell you guys right now, I had a conversation with my coach last year and we were gearing up for me to go for premiere. And then I heard someone say elite. And I was like, well, what if I tried for that? And I was scared to say it, but I did. I didn't really tell a lot of people. They say, tell a lot of, you know, share your goal. I only shared it with Todd. I was like, Todd, I kind of want to go for this. And then I shared it with Mary, who's my sales, the sales manager that helped me from corporate. That's it. And then slowly I told the team, but you guys realize I did not do one post on our personal page, my personal Facebook sharing that elite was my goal until like October because I was too scared to tell the world that's what I wanted. I didn't think I was worthy of that goal. So that goal that scares you, that you don't think you're worthy of, that you don't think you've done enough for, you can put that goal down. So that's the second part. Hit a lead again, star diamond. And I wanna help my people make money. So I have been learning so much about volume and how to build volume. I want to help my coaches earn income. Okay, I can't do that for you, but I can teach you. You guys are still gonna have to put that action in. So how many of you guys know what personal volume is? Kind of, yeah? What's your personal volume? It's what you, what you buy and then whoever's up under you, right? It is what it is your own personal order. So your yeah. Shakeology, your Energize, whatever you're ordering, and it is your customer's order, not your coaches. So it's right. all customer, new customers, old customers. That's your personal volume. Okay. okay. Now, when I wake up in the morning, I have a big role on like not checking Facebook when I wake up, but I'll tell you guys, you know what I check every morning when I wake up? I check my personal volume. I want to see my volume. I want to see my team volume. It's the first thing I do. I look at my phone. I'm like, I want to see what my volume is. So those of you who don't know how to check your volume, here's how you check your volume. You go into your coach online office, okay, and click on monitor my business. Monitor my business. And then you're going to hit team volume. Okay, click on team volume. Your personal volume is going to show every single week, but it's going to update daily. There is nobody on this team, if you want to build this business, that should be under 500. You want to get to 500 right away. 500 a month. 500 per month, not per week. You want to shoot for 125 a week right away out the gate as a coach. After that, you want to get up to 1,000. And then change it to 2,000 a month and keep moving that number up. And when you bring on a new coach, help them get to that 500. And your team volume will increase that way too. Now, how do you get your volume to in the back office, hold on, I'm gonna mute some people right here. In the back office, every single product that we have back there says a price, and then it says a PV, like Shakeology, for example. PV for Shakeology is 90. So that's how you know how much PV you get for that item. All right, so when I look at my back office, like I woke up today and I was not happy with my PV. I'll tell you guys that right now. It's Sunday, our week starts again on Thursday, so I have until Thursday to finish this week. And I'm going, I do not like my PV this week. I don't have a lot of new customer orders and not as much as I want. So what do I got to do? I got to haul ass and get that PV where I want it because I have a certain goal per week or where I want to be. So I did the math and I got to sell four challenge packs this week to get to that PV number that I want for my week. 
Some weeks are awesome because some weeks I have all these old customers that are getting their new Shakeologies that week, their Bodrenals, and I'm like, whoa, baby. Okay, I wonder how much more I can do to up my PV. Now, those of you um, who want more info because you're a new coach and this is sounding kind of tricky, I am going to record a call. I'm not going to do it live because I want to go in the back office and actually show stuff. I'm going to do a call just on volume, a training, and I'll record it, okay? Um, but right away, how do you get to PV immediately? You guys, it's all the stuff we know. It's not a big secret. You invite to challenge groups. You invite to coaching. You share your story on social media. Be proof the products work. Share your story. Share our products, right? If you share products and people are buying, what's going to increase your personal volume? And that's what's going to result in an income from this business. Make sense? We're gonna talk a lot about volume. I am not just recognizing Success Club this year or rank. I've done a lot of that, recognizing those two. You guys are gonna hear from me every single week with our personal volume leaders on the team. And there are people on here, I want you guys to realize, there are weeks where like, there's people on this team kicking my ass in personal volume. We've got some really good personal volume uh, leaders on this team. So I want you to think rank, success club, and volume. All three of those are important. And I no longer want to place the other two above volume because that's something we kind of ignored in the past. Because I want you guys to make money. I don't just want you to have one or the other, right? This is fun. We love this business. I love sharing it. But I cannot afford to share what I love if I didn't make money off of it. I'd have to go back and do my full-time job and I wouldn't be doing this. And same for all of you. You'd have to put your energy elsewhere. So that's what I want to help you do this year. All right. Number next on the volume, right? How to make money. You got to spend a little to make some. You have to spend a little bit of money to make some money. Um, Anthony, sorry. No worries. I'm so happy that, oh, it's okay. <laughs> that's all right, Anthony, but I'm glad you're able to hop on anyways. Um, okay, so you cannot have a scarcity mindset. Those of you who are not Emerald, if you have a spouse, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, someone, one person, guys, sponsor that person in this business. Todd was my first coach. He sits at the top of my business. He was not drinking Shakeology when I started. I'm telling you guys right now, he was not drinking Shakeology. I bought that Shakeology under him. And it doesn't have to be Shakeology. It could be Recover. It could be another product. But I invested into him because I saw the bigger picture. Our investment in Beachbody is kind of pathetic. Let's be honest. If I were to go start another MLM business, I'm looking at two to $6,000 to start my business. We pay 140, 160, maybe 200. Do you guys want to know what Todd's business center made this year? And he did not hit success club one time. So he didn't sell anything all year. But do you want to know what his business center produced in the year? He's just a diamond coach, not higher. 10 grand. Todd doesn't do anything, doesn't sell success club, nothing. Because he sits at the top of my business and I was smart enough early on to invest in his business, right? So I paid for that Shakeology. How much is that? What is, uh, $98 times 12, one of my math gals, like just under 1200, right? Like close? Okay. Would you spend 1200 to make 10,000? Yeah, why not, right? And I actually got something for that 1200. Like I actually got something back. I got Shakeology. I was giving away samples and then eventually he did drink it. But you've got to be able to invest. So sponsor one person in this business, you guys, your spouse, your mother, your one person, and then you just need one more to get to Emerald. And that's how you start building a team. You know how you become a team leader? You start with one person. These team calls, my upline coach wasn't doing team calls. And I saw all these top coaches doing team calls. And I thought, I wanna get there. Do you wanna know how many times I had a team call with one person? You might've been that one person. You might've been my one person on that call. I had so many team calls with one person. And it was a major ego blow. I remember jumping on those calls and I'm like, okay. But that person, that one person was there to hear what I had to say. And slowly, slowly it started to build. And I still have moments of doubt when I look at these top coaches and they've got like this team call and it's like, you so many squares everywhere. And I'm like, well, we're going to get there because we went from one, right? And now we're growing and growing. So you have to start small to get big. Emerald is a must if you wanna build this business. It's two people, sponsor one of those 
people, okay? Find a family member. All right. Another reason you want to be an Emerald coach, uh, Stacy, Natasha, Ashley, I, um, let's see, you guys are all Emerald coaches. If you're Emerald and you hit Success Club consistently, have you guys been seeing your January free customers? It's a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Free customers, if you are an Emerald coach, you're eligible for free customers, right? So just the Emerald and hitting Success Club, that's it. You don't have to be higher than that. There's a lot of people that are watching the Beachbody infomercials, right? Beachbody does a ton of marketing for us. Just turn on the TV, guys. It's everywhere, right? There's Pio. There's uh, P90X. There's so many different infomercials going on for our products. So when people call in an order, where do they go? Beachbody gives those people to us. And we don't get paid on the first order, but we do get paid on future. And every now and then, you actually wake up and you're like, oh, I got two success club points for this person, right? Like, it's happened. Guys, get to Emerald. This time of year, we get more free customers in January, February, and the beginning of the year than any other time of year. So get to Emerald. It will pay you back. I mean, I'll tell you the truth. Just a few of these free customers, and once you start getting paid on them, it could pay for that, that person you sponsored. So get to Emerald. All right. Let's talk about calendars for the new year. So um, those of you who have a calendar on your phone, or a, if you guys could grab it, so grab your calendars for me. You may already have this in there, but if you don't, set a recurring invite for the national wake-up call every single Monday at 8 a.m. Even if you can't make the call at 8 a.m., it's going to remind you to listen to the replay. So national wake-up call, get that in your calendars right now. It's at 8 a.m. every Monday. Tomorrow is Melanie Mitro, who just hit top coach again. She, no one has ever hit top coach as many times as this woman has. And just so you guys know, like, this is how hard that is to do over and over. This is why a lot of people don't hit it over and over. Because one of the categories on rank is you have to increase your volume by a certain number from the previous year. So can you guys imagine how big her volume is? And then she's got to increase that by a certain percentage. That's why, and they do that on purpose because they don't want the same people in top 10 every year. It's like, well, her team's so big, of course she can get in top 10. No, it actually gets harder every single year. So even for me, guys, I got to look at our volume left next year and we've got to produce higher, a certain percentage higher than that number to hit a lead again. So Melanie has this gigantic team and she's got to increase that every year. This woman, this is not just because of luck and it's not just because she's got a big team and it's, it's working well. No, she's got to haul ass every year even harder. And that's why it's so hard to repeatedly hit top 10 or and even number one, which is what she's done. So tune in tomorrow, that's Melanie, but put that on your calendar. Mondays at 8 a.m. is the national wake-up call. All right, we are changing the team call. And it, it hurts me to do this because we finally got such a good group hopping on every week, but I want to respect Sunday as a family day for those of you, um, you know, who want to go to church. It's, it's a day that I want to kind of take off the calendar, okay? And I've thought about this for a while. When I was working full time, it was like, well, I got to work my weekends. Um, and I know some of you guys still do. So hopefully you can please make this work. Um, Tuesdays, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is now our new team call. Okay, Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please put that in your calendars. You can bring your dinner on the call, do what you got to do. Um, I know in my family, like when we used to have stuff going on on a weekday, or I actually used to teach a class on Tuesdays, we used to call it Fend for Yourself Tuesday. So just figure out your own dinner. Yeah, Natasha? Are we starting this Tuesday? No, good question. We will start next Tuesday. Thank you. Yep, I'll send an invite on Team Inspired, but we will start next Tuesday. Tomorrow, our Emerald Factory training starts. This is not just for people that want to get to Emerald. This is about being a two-time Emerald, three-time Emerald, four-time Emerald. How many groups of two are you signing up? So we've got Emerald Factory training. That starts tomorrow morning. You will be added into the group late tonight. I got a busy day today, so late tonight. February 5th. Kelly, are you still on the call or did you hop off? I think she might have hopped off. Okay, so Kelly Slaughter is a coach that is in um, Jatana's Dairy. Yeah. And uh, her Instagram, guys, she is like at a whole new level. 
her, their team is very strong when it comes to Instagram. I think you guys who follow Jatana know that. So she is doing an Instagram boot camp. I was able to watch one of the, just one of the trainings that Kelly did. Um, and it was absolutely out of this world, you guys. Like I learned so much just off that one, one training and she's doing a whole entire boot camp for us. So she is actually going to tell you guys like post this right now, post this, share what you got. I don't care if you're first day coach or you've been a coach for the entire time with me, two years, hop, you, you definitely want to be on this Instagram bootcamp and the event will be posted on Team Inspired. So don't miss that. It starts on February 5th. And then in your calendar, drop in your business hours every single day, you guys. What are your business hours? Is it 5 a.m.? Is it 5 p.m.? Um, because you work, what are your business hours? So you've got to set daily business hours where you're going to work your business. All right. I don't hear this stuff a lot because I will tell you guys, we have a freaking awesome team, but I am going to tell you the things that I don't want to hear in 2018. I have a lot going on right now, but I just can't dot, dot, dot. It really still is a priority, but I'm really spread thin between blah, blah, blah. Guys, figure it out. Don't bring it to me. If you don't want to do this, don't do this. But if you have a goal, you are going to be challenged. I'm telling you right now, it is not going to be easy to hit any of your goals. Not one of you. Every single one of you, including me, every time we think we're going to get close, we're going to take two steps back. I know because I just felt it. And it's awful when it happens. But at the end, it is so worth it. No one on my team wants to work this business like I do. Okay, here's my answer to that. Get a new team. I did. I did. I got a new team. You guys were not here year one. I got a new team. If they don't want to work the business, get a new team. There are people out there just like you. It is, you know what Brendan Burchard says when you think nobody else out there is like you? It's ego. Because we think I'm the only one like me out there. BS. Look how many people I were to find, I was able to find out there through other people. How many of you on this call did I, was I friends with prior? Just a couple of you. I got my sister, Ashley, all of the rest of you guys, we connected because of this. And you are my friends today. Like we talk, we don't just talk business. Like my leaders on this team, we talk family, we talk love lives, we talk pregnancy, we talk sickness. Like we, we are friends. So find new people that want to work this business like you do. And they will become those people in your life that you truly can't imagine doing anything without. So if the people on your team don't want this, find people who do. All right, so what is 2018 going to be about? What's it going to be about? Some of you have heard me talk about this, um, and I'm getting more and more passionate about it. And it's the, I really like to relate a lot of stuff to that feeling of the elephant, right? I've talked about the elephant here and there. Um, when I think about like our mascot, I think about an elephant because an elephant is nearly unstoppable when set on a path right? An elephant is nearly unstoppable, but they're not the fastest. And that's something that I want you guys to realize when you set this goal for 2018, it's not going to happen fast. If it happens fast, your goal was way too small and it's going to feel really slow, but I want you to be like the elephant that's completely unstoppable and you keep moving forward. Think about that. Cause that's exactly, I want to think about strength, not speed. It's not how fast you get to something. It's that you don't go, you don't turn around or you don't quit. You just keep going on this path. All right, you guys, who's excited about 2018? Yeah, I know, like that nervous excitement of, oh my God, so much possibility, so much is gonna happen. All right, so I wanna hear from you guys. Um, just give me a sentence if you can, maybe two, because I know how you guys are. One sentence is tough, but you heard my goal, right? I just want to hear your goal. It could be a rank goal. It could be, um, it doesn't need to be a smart goal for this one. I just want to hear your goal. What is going to define your 2018? I'm not going to call on everyone. I'm just going to let whoever wants to share. So I've unmuted. I think all of you, I'll mute you back if there's like a lot of background noise coming from you. All right. Who wants to go first? Share your goal for 2018. I'll oh, start. No. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Mary, you go. Okay. Well, I've never hit success club before. So I think I'm going to take these um, words. I'm going to take her words into advice. I might sponsor somebody and try and hit success club. 
like for my first time. Hey! <laughs> I love it. And that's going to be, that's going to, you'll see tomorrow when we do the Emerald Factory, that's going to be the first step for you hitting Emerald. Yeah, I have never hit Emerald, so I'll probably hit all of those, Mark. So <laughs> Work with Stacy and she'll help you get there. But that is, yeah, yeah. that's the first thing I did. I sponsored my husband. I love it. I love it. That's, that's an action right there. Thank you. <laughs> all right, who else? Okay, I'll go. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Um, so I wrote down, I'll just read you my little chunk of goal. 20, 000, 2018 goals. Um, so I want to hit two star diamond. And I had set a goal about a, well, a couple months ago that I want to, um, my, uh, financially, I want to make a thousand dollars a month. Um, I'm already almost there. So I'm going to have to change my goal. So I've changed it to 1500 a month. So it's like I love it. way higher than I thought, but I'm going to go for it. So 1500 a month. I'm I also all this right now and everyone on the team is going to hear me. You're going to have to change that goal again. I hope. I know. I hope I so. Cause I that would be awesome. awesome. <laughs> gonna have to change that goal again <laughs> <laughs> and then um volume i i'm still new to like what number i should be reaching but i just put 750 a month awesome and when we do our call on monday we're gonna dive and actually like look at your numbers um yeah yeah i think that's a perfect like start we'll see you may be higher than that but we'll check it out and look okay and then i put uh hitting success club every month which was my goal before but that's that's just an ongoing goal so. i love it i love it so two star and then add premiere to that and I'll talk to you about it later. Oh, I did write, th write that. Okay, good, 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 good. I did write that. Good, good, good. Perfect. I love okay. it. All right. Who else wants to share it? Tasha. Um, my goal this year is to build a team. So I know that little statement was for me earlier. It's not, it's believe it or not. <laughs> if if, if, if you feel it. like my statements are to you, that's a good thing. But yeah. I promise you it's to anyone who's ever going to build a team. <laughs> I wrote down, get a new team. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you guys want to know how many um, coaches I signed up and lost this year? I don't know the actual numbers, but I will tell you that. You know I lost more than I signed up. I'm dead serious. Okay. Who cares? I could care less. If you want to quit, guys, you're quitting on yourself, not me. I'm not taking it personally. But here's the deal. Mm -hmm. With all those people that quit, look who stayed. Yeah. Right? Like. <laughs> so that's my goal to build a new team and to hit S, like, do nothing less than SC10, like, the entire year. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Build that team, Tasha. Build it with people you want on the team that want to be here for themselves, too. You're not, I don't drag anyone in this business. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't drag you, beg you, right? All right, who else wants to share? I don't have a brand new guys. Feel free. You can have a goal, and I want you to feel very comfortable. No judgment. Ashley, hit me. Um, yes. So actually, my goals are pretty much the same. I want to hit two star diamond um, and hit success club every month. Yes, I love it. Consistency, and that's a really solid rank goal. When you hit two star, you can open up your second CDC. And I know a lot of you don't know what that means is, but it is a big jump in income. So I, that is a really nice goal to have. Um, and anybody on this team can do it. I'll tell you right now. It's not easy. I don't want to BS you guys, though. There's a lot of step back in the face, um, but you can do it. All right. Anybody else want to share? Yeah, I'll share, Z. I'm on the phone, but I'll share. Awesome. Hit me. Um, I want to continue to hit Success Club every month. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my major goals this year is to mentor five new coaches and get them up and running from ground zero like I did I love and uh, make it to diamond by December. Yes. Oh, um, Hillary, at the rate you're going, you're going to do that. I'll tell you that right now. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Our training tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's going to help you with, with just that finding those five people and building that team of yours to get to Diamond. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, is that you from my 416 or who is that? 416 area code. That's me. Hi. Oh, that's, oh, that's Hillary. Okay. Who's my 201 then? I'm not sure who 201 is. 
Anybody else want to share? I'm not going to call on the rest of you guys. I'm just curious who these people are. Vanna, it's Kim. Sorry, I was on mute. Hey, Kim. Oh, you're too. That's right. Hi, Kimmy. Hi. Um, I got to get back to Emerald ASAP, so that's immediate. And for me, I'm going to shoot for Diamond by the end of the year. You're going to hit Diamond by the end of the year. We will hit Diamond. Guys, I'm, real quick, I'll call you Natasha in just one second. Kim is, this is why I say, like, you've never, Kim is one of, is someone that I was very close in corporate America. She's someone I will say, like, a lot of my friends did not join me in this business. I'll tell you right now. So don't take it personally when your friends want nothing to do with it. She is someone who is a very close friend of mine. Um, she is right under Todd in this business, you guys. And I always knew, like, when she's going to do it, she's going to do it. But it wasn't the right time. So don't give up on people. I, I'm not saying, when I say build a new team, it's the people that don't want this. But you might have someone, um, Lee is someone, and Kim is someone who have been around for a while, um, but it just wasn't the right time. But one thing I will tell you guys, she's never quit. She sits at the top of our business, like right under Todd. Kim, I can't wait to go through volume with you because you're going to love your placement. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> you got to work hard, though. It doesn't matter where you're placed. You still got to work. But she is like one of the very first coaches that ever joined me. I think it was like my third month as a coach, Kim joined. Um, Natasha, hit me. Oh, I was just going to say that um, those that say they want diamond by December, you should move it up because I said that same thing and here I am still at Emerald. I'm and really I glad you said that. Um, if you guys saw a while back, Jen Houston did a call about how she hit diamond in 90 days. Um, diamond is one of these goals. It, this is just how it works out. If you take more time to do it, it's actually harder. And here's why. I'll actually explain it. Because you, let's say you sign up three coaches tomorrow and you're like, cool, I just need five more coaches to get to Diamond. If you take all year to get there, you're going to lose those three coaches and you're going to have to keep replacing. It is actually harder to hit Diamond in a longer amount of time. Um, when I went for Diamond. I became a coach in June, and I set a goal of hitting Diamond by my birthday, August 30th. I missed it. I set a second goal of hitting by my wedding day, November 28th. I missed it. And then I set a third goal of hitting by the end of the year, December 31st. Do you guys want to know what day I hit Diamond? December 31st. So it was six months is what it took me. Um, my point is that I still kept setting really close goals. Like I, my goal was never far, even though it took me six months, I still kept setting a two to three month goal. It is actually easier to hit diamond faster than it is slower. So um, I will challenge you to change the goal for your sake because it is easier. And Natasha made a very good point. Her goal was so far out, it's actually harder. It is harder to hit diamond um, when you put more time on your plate. Got, does that make sense? Yeah, so I would recommend for anybody, I don't care if you're just starting out today, um, set no, no longer than 90 days from now, from today. And you might miss it like I did. Make another goal. But so set no, don't push it out further than 90 days. Because once you hit, even if you don't have like, let's say your goal isn't two star this year, you just want to maintain diamond. Guys, that's fine. But once you hit diamond, you can't stop. So you want to hit it in 90 days, or let's say then you move it up to 120, whatever that is, because you've got to keep building or you're going to lose that diamond. A lot of people hit diamond and they lose it. You've got to hit diamond and you've got to keep building your team. So the earlier you do it, the more of a steady diamond you're going to be. Because if you have eight people on your team, how many people are you going to have on your team next year if you don't add a single person? Maybe not 80 two or three right <laughs> like it just that's just the nature of the game if you want five people on your team that are working the business you've got to have 20 people on your team it's the 80 20 rule mm -hmm. not more because look there's nine people on this call how many people are on the on team inspired do you guys know <laughs> over 200 in my back office oh, no. that's it that's just and that's, not, that's just the way the numbers work you guys I mean, we've got more than nine people working the business, but just to put it in perspective. So yes, I do. I'm really glad you said that, Natasha. Um, move that. You can be a diamond on December. If you want to be a strong, if your goal is like, I want to be a strong diamond at the end of the year, that's fine. But make a goal to hit it in 90 days. And then, I, then we can just focus on income the rest of the year. Because there's diamonds that make $5,000 a year. There's diamonds that make 
$250,000 a year. Diamonds. I'm telling you right now, there are diamonds that make that range of income. So being a diamond is not a be all end all. So if you want to say, Hey, I want to be a diamond this year, let's hit in nine days. And then we'll just focus on building your volume. Be a six figure diamond. Okay. There's the, yeah. It, it, I don't care if you just want to be diamond this year. You don't want to go for two star. That's fine. But let's get you a diamond fast and then let's focus on income and take that all the way up. All right. Um, if you are a coach of mine um, and we have not done a 2018 uh, plan for the year, please reach out so we could book that. If you um, are not directly under me, please reach out to your coach. Like Mary, you should reach out to Stacy. Reach out to your coach. Let's do a plan. If you like, it's up to you. Um, but reach out to me. It's a plan for 2018. If your coach does not work the business, um, reach out to me and I'll probably do a call for all of the coaches that uh, kind of, you know, part of my team. You're still part of my team, but you don't have an upline that's working it. Okay. So reach out. If you're Todd's coach, you're my coach. You're all my coaches, but reach out to your upline coach guys and let's book that 2018 ramp up for the year. Okay. Cause then we'll go into the nitty gritty and really look at your numbers and help you plan effectively. All right, guys have a fabulous day, 10 minutes early, even though we started late and let's take some small action every single day. Bye guys. Thanks for hopping on. Have a fabulous Sunday. Bye guys.